Hello, welcome back to the Traveling Happy Hour. It's starting to get to that holiday time. So today we're gonna to learn how to make aged eggnog. Last year I made it for the first time, loved it, gave it out as gifts. People loved it. It was a great, great find and a great, great recipe. Eggnog has been around since the 13th century, but became more popular in the 17th century in Britain amongst the rich wanting to drink milk and cream and eggs and sherry was a hard thing to find. So they used to toast for wealth and prosperity and that's how it's kind of gotten transferred over to Christmas. But truthfully, I believe it should be able to be drink any day of the year. So we're gonna learn how to make it. So come along and let's see. So first we're gonna separate 12 egg yolks. And you wanna use, you wanna use fresh eggs if preferred. Don't know if I'm sold on that one. All right, so we have our 12 egg yolks. We're gonna put in one pound of sugar. We're gonna put in quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. One teaspoon of fresh nutmeg. Grate your own nutmeg and you're gonna beat it. And you want it to run off like a ribbon. Pretty basic. Now the booze. One cup of bourbon. There's all different types of recipes. Some will just use brandy. Some will use sherry. I like this version because comes with a little bit of everything. Comes with Jamaican rum. I don't know if I mentioned, this is a recipe of Alton Browns. And you don't wanna use anything less than 40 proof because the alcohol is actually going to kill off any salmonella that would be in the eggs. Oh, forgot to show you. The Cavassier Cognac. So you have one cup of bourbon, one cup of Jamaican rum, and one cup of cognac. You're gonna be putting in one pint of cream.
one pint of whole milk. And then one pint of half and half. These bottles make a great gift to pass it out. Give it a little stir. And here comes always the fun part. You can just pour it in there slowly as you're beating it. Last year I made a double batch at one time and it turned into a big mess. So this year I'm just going to make three batches separately and call it a day that way. You want to keep the, whoa, now there's a little bit more. Look at all that drops. You want to keep it in the refrigerator for at least four to six weeks. It will last up to a year um, and actually longer. You'll see people that have kept it around. I just, it's too good and it takes up too much refrigerator space. So. Then after mixing everything all together, I have sterilized these bottles that I get my milk in. I'm just gonna fill them up. Kinda like to split them amongst two so I can shake them and then what I'll actually do is also mix them amongst each other. So all three gallons will taste the same. So we finished making up all of the eggnog, almost made two and a half gallons. Truthfully wish there was more and one of the batches I made with a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I will mix them all around to infuse that cinnamon to all of the different versions. Make sure you definitely shake it up because the nutmeg and cinnamon will drop to the bottom. And then usually I will use the little cream bottles to fill them up and pass them out to my friends and family for for Christmas, the holidays, anything like that. Um, right now, if you taste it, you'll taste all the different alcohols. You'll taste the bourbon, the rum, the cognac, but as it ages, the, all the flavors will meld together. As long as you use pasteurized eggs, you can consume it right now, but, oh, somebody just got home. Hi. What are you doing? Well, I'm just finishing up. Oh I was going to try some oh, some eggnog. Girl. We got Marge over here all excited. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and so I was just going to be actually trying some of the eggnog. So Ooh. perfect timing for you to walk in. Looks We're just going to try a little bit just to kind of. I kinda... love Chris's eggnog. Yum. Cheers. 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 Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Mm, that's so good. But in six weeks, it's going to be a lot better. So. You know what I love about this eggnog is it's not super thick. You know how some eggnog is super thick? Mm-hmm. And uh, I like to water that super thick eggnog down with some milk. But this is not super thick. It's, um... It's very tasty. It's got a lot of booze in it to water it down. 
So, anyways. This is good. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this episode. And... Have a happy, happy hour. <laughs> have a happy, happy hour. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Happy holidays. <laughs>